Today at approximately 3.33 a.m., officers responded to a shoot staff hot shot call here in the 100 block of Ortley Lane. Upon arriving on scene, officers located one male victim who appeared to have suffered gunshot wounds. When officers did arrive on scene, they immediately began rendering aid to the male victim until Austin Travis County EMS and AFD were able to arrive on scene. That victim was later transported to a local area hospital where he did receive treatment. However, unfortunately, he did later succumb to his injuries and has been pronounced deceased. As of now, investigators are on scene working to determine exactly what led up to the incidents here today. And we are asking for the public's assistance. Anyone who saw or heard anything, please do contact us. You can contact us either through our homicide tip line at 512-477-3588 or through Crime Stoppers at 512-472-8477. That's 512-472-TIPS. And Crime Stoppers does offer a $1,000 reward to anyone who has information that can lead to an arrest in this incident. As of now, we have no information that would lead us to believe that this is an ongoing threat to the general public, so we do believe it to be an isolated incident. And as of right now, nobody is in custody. Did a vehicle flee the scene? I'm not aware of any particular vehicle that may have been involved. Um, like I said, the investigation is on, ongoing, so they're working to determine what exactly occurred at the time and in the, in the area of the incident. I heard reports of possible drive-by shooting. Y'all don't know anything about that? I can't confirm or deny whether or not it was a drive-by shooting. All I can tell you is that when officers arrived on scene, as far as I'm aware, they just located a victim that was here in the roadway. I don't know if a vehicle was observed or not. Do you know if it was a male victim? It was a male victim, yes. Do you have an approximate age range or do you know who is an adult? I do not. Right now we're still working to uh, fully identify the individual. Any other questions? Any weapons on the victim? Uh, that I'm not aware of, uh, whether or not the victim had a weapon on him or not. Um, I I'm, can only tell you the uh, nature of the injuries that he suffered was a gunshot. Can you speak to kind of whereabouts in the roadway the man was found? Like, was it close to a property? Was it sort of in, like, what, what did you sort of come upon when you made this call? So I, I can't tell you exactly where the, the victim was found uh, when officers arrived on scene. Obviously, our number one priority when we do arrive on scene is just to treat the individual, the victim, as quickly as we can and to get them you know, to a hospital. Uh, so uh, I'm not aware as to where he was when we arrived. Can you just speak to the investigation here? Obviously, you have the whole road uh, sure. shut off. Um, what, what are you guys kind of looking for at this point? So right now, anytime we have a homicide investigation, uh, we're going to canvas a large area for any possible uh, evidence, um, especially when it involves weapons, anything that may lead us to believe the exact nature of the weapon, the type, or anything like that. And so often when you guys come out here, you notice that we have a large area shut down just because we want to canvas and be as thorough as we possibly can because a lot of times the initial information we get doesn't give us the full picture. And so we try to canvas as large an area of, uh, as we can so that way we gather all the information possible. So it, it is going to take up a large area here, uh, but that's just in general the way that homicide investigations work. You haven't been able to positively ID the victim. Uh, is there a reason to believe the victim was a resident of this street, of this area? I don't know that. I don't know whether he was a resident of the area or if he was visiting someone or whatever the case may have been. I'm not sure. Did the 911 call, did it say that they saw what happened or did they call after they heard something? Can you get into the 911 call at all? I haven't had the opportunity to listen to the 911 call, so I can't tell you exactly what was said. I can just tell you the information that we had initially, which was just that shots were heard being fired in the area. Do you know the relationship between the suspect and the victim? Uh, that's still going to be part of the investigation right now, so the exact nature of the relationship. You, you said that uh, you all just had a, you had the initial call was for shots fired in the area. Did officers arrive and locate the victim, or did they already know the victim prior to their arrival? Uh, when officers arrived on scene is when they located the victim. Do you have an approximate age on the victim? I do not. Yeah, all I can confirm right now is that it's a male victim. Okay. Anything else? All right. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.